Scientists offer an up-close look to some people's scaliest fears. Now, thanks to a California Polytechnic State University project, you can tune into rattlecam.org to see a mega den of snakes for free. Just take a look at that. That is crazy. You know, I watched a tad <laughs> of this online from the newsroom, and that den has 2,000 rattlesnakes on private land in northern Colorado, and Caltech researchers put a webcam there to watch their activities. The webcam will allow observations like snake bursts, how mothers care for their young, how they drink rain, and what predators do to actually get one of them for a meal. Project lead Emily Taylor says it's a chance to abandon fear of rattlesnakes and to learn much more about the feared reptile. I think the best thing about all of these things and the many other discoveries we're making is that people are helping us make those. So the people who are watching on YouTube live are telling us, oh, this happened at this time. You need to go back to this. They're even helping us to identify some of the plants and some of the insects that visit. And so it truly is a, a, a group effort, a community science effort. That's something that we couldn't do on our own as scientists, but everyone's helping us do it. Taylor also says the exact location of the mega den in northern Colorado is not being disclosed to protect that habitat and live viewing of snake bursts will begin in August. Now, Kansas is no stranger to rattlesnakes. The Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks says there are four native rattlesnakes in the state. So what do you do if you encounter one? Well, experts say if you see a snake on a trail, treat it like a rattlesnake and don't bother it. Kale Morris, venom manager at Phoenix Herpetological Sanctuary, says if you leave them alone, they're likely to leave you alone as well. My research shows they're chickens. You know, they, they are scared of us. Uh, and when we try to mess with them, like if we were to throw rocks at them or things, they, they try to flee because they're scared. So their, their main behavior is hiding and then fleeing. All right, I guess they're not snakes, they're chickens. <laughs> so if you are a bit by one, or if you are bit by one, that is, doctors say it's best to go to the ER right away and don't use any devices to suck out the venom.